Hi everyone. First of all, it's so nice to hear that some of the children in our class, some of the children in nursery and year one too, and even some of the children in my previous school have been really enjoying some of these stories. So I want to say a big hello to all of you that are watching and I hope you really enjoy this one. This one's called Stanley the Amazing Knitting Cat. And I'm super excited about this one because it's by Emily McKenzie who also does Ralphie Rabbit. And you know that I really love that story. So I hope you enjoy this one too. Stanley wasn't like other cats. He didn't enjoy chasing mice. He was very friendly to passing dogs. And he never lazed around dozing in the sunshine. No, Stanley liked to be really crafty. But not in a sneaky way. Stanley loved to knit. He knocked up pom-poms at breakfast time, whipped up bobble hats at bath time. He knitted tail cozies at the supermarket. Stanley even knitted on the bus. Can you see him? And what, Stanley, um, and what did Stanley do with all of his woolly creations? He gave them to his friends, of course. He made balaclavas for all the bunny rabbits. Neck warmers for the giraffes, trunk tubes for the elephants, and plenty of jolly jumpers, silly socks, and woolly onesies. Yes, Stanley could knit anything and everything. So when he spotted a poster one day, he knew what he had to do. It said, Woolly Wonders Competition! Bring your wackiest woolly creations to the town hall this Saturday. The more bonkers, the better. Stanley got knitting straight away, but what was he making? Hmm, it's a woolly jelly, said Giraffe. Oh, no, 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 it's a giant carrot, said Rabbit. <gasps> Definitely the longest woolly rainbow in the world, said Monkey. But Stanley said nothing at all. He just knitted, 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 knitted. Until... <gasps> One day, the clicking suddenly stopped. Stanley had completely run out of wool. And the competition was the very next day. What could he do? How was he going to find more wool in time? all of the wool back. He called it the Great Unraveling. No, not my pants, said the crocodile. Yikes, said the panda. <gasps> Stanley was delighted though. He had enough wool all right. Although Stanley's friends weren't quite so happy. They were having to find some new clothes to try and wear. The next day, Stanley's chilly friends gathered with the crowds at the town hall, eager to view the woolly wonders. There were woolly dragons. There were dinosaurs. There were cuddly toadstools. <gasps> and giant knitted cakes. Oh, yummy. But, oh, no, no sign of... Stanley, or oh, his, his woolly wonder. Oh, he'll never win now, shivered Giraffe. It's been a waste of time, added Rabbit, with his teeth chattering away. But then, suddenly, crash, bang, thud! <gasps> Everyone rushed outside, and there was Stanley in his wonderfully woolly creation. What are you all waiting for? All aboard! He cried. 
But what about the competition? asked Giraffe. Oh, that can wait, said Stanley. You, all of my friends, you're far more important. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I took your woolies. <gasps> Everyone climbed aboard and off they went. Up, up, up and away. And Stanley and his friends didn't have to wait long before they heard the most exciting news. <sighs> The winner of the Woolly Wonders competition is Stanley, the amazing knitting cat. A lifetime's supply of wool goes to you. Which was just as well, because now his friends were even more woolly and even more wonderful than ever before. used. I hope you enjoyed the story.